go. Hey, Pio fans. David Corson, 1981-1984, DU Lacrosse. Speaking to you from Atlanta, Georgia. Winter's coming. Uh, from the Peach Piles, as we're known here in the South. I'm with Kaylee Rickert, uh, class of 2015, MBA in 2016, Alpha Phi. She's also uh, Assistant Business Development in the DU Athletic Department. Uh, talking to me today from Denver, Colorado. Is it uh, nice out there today or uh, snowing or what's the weather like in there? It's about 10 degrees outside. We had a couple inches of snow this morning, so it's it's cold. It well, is- we just we just saw sun. So in the south here, we've been in a drought. We've had rain the last couple of days, so uh, we'll take the rain. But uh, sunny out, and I've got lacrosse practice in about uh, 45 minutes, so we're going to get this video done and uh, talk uh, some DU soccer. Team of Destiny reminds me of the 2015 DU lacrosse team. Uh, you know, they, uh, they were just too good not to win the national championship. The soccer team... 20-0-3, the only undefeated soccer team in the country out of 200 D1 uh, soccer clubs. Unbelievable. I'm flying back from Phoenix last Friday. First, I went to the alumni Atlanta chapter dinner Wednesday night and, uh, you know, met, uh, you know, the mayor, Chancellor Kopp, and uh, and uh, Tomei from Home Depot, all, all alums, etc. So all, all the DU alums that are, that are local were driving up to Clemson to watch the game. Uh, I was flying back that night. So on the way back, of course, technology, 36,000 feet. I'm watching the game, 0-0 zero, zero at half. I land. By the time I get to my car, I turn my, my, my Pio vision on my phone. Three minutes left. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. And, and the bus has about 12 people on the shuttle bus. So all of a sudden, with a minute to go, boom, header, goal. I scream. Everybody's looking at me like I'm some crazy dude. And all you know, they run the clock out. Crowd goes wild. Made my weekend unbelievable. So, uh, just really, really exciting. And I'm not, and I'm not really a soccer guy either. So, uh, from my standpoint, uh, you know, uh, you know, it was great seeing uh, Du pulled out there in the last minute. So this weekend, we're in the final four, playing Wake Forest uh, in Houston. And I'm going to let Kaylee give us a little rundown on what uh, uh, Pioneer alum and Pio fans out there can uh, look forward to uh, Friday night. I know I'm going down with about 100 people to watch the game at 6 o'clock, so uh, give me uh, give us an update, Kelly. What do you think? Well, thanks, David. So um, with the win over Clemson, uh, DU is the uh, longest unbeaten team in the country, has the longest streak, since, except for Clemson, since 1977, if you can believe that. Um, with Maryland's loss, that knocked them right out, and so we have that. Um, when you look at how we are over the last four years, um, 59, 12, and 11, you just can't beat that. That's the third best record in the country. So like you said, team of champions. But what's really unique about this game against Wake Forest is that this is our new coach, Jamie Franks. It's his, it's his alma mater. He's going home, and he's going to play his alma mater. What's even more interesting is that Bobby Mews used to be our coach while Jamie Franks was our assistant coach. Bobby Mews is now the new head coach at Wake Forest. He left us two years ago, and so Jamie Franks uh, will be playing not only his alma mater, also an old teammate and his um, former head coach. So pretty pretty cool um, for that. Since Mews went down to Wake Forest, um, Franks is 35-1-6 and six since taking over as head coach, and he's the second youngest coach in the country. We're really blessed to have him. And um, he's definitely showing how much um, he does for us with the boys rallying behind him and getting us this far in the, um, in the tournament. So back to the actual game itself. Um, we're playing number two Wake Forest um, in the semifinals Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. For all the Denver fans, it is 4 p.m. Um, and they're playing at the um, BBVA Compass Stadium, which is the home of the Major League Soccer's Houston Dynamo. So we're in a real first-class stadium. We're going to be playing with a huge crowd of people, um, people cheering from all over. And I would like to say that DU, I think, is the underdogs. Yes, we have Providence, who's also who's unranked, um, coming up in the other semifinal game. But when you look at who has the following and who has that underdog championship feel that everybody is secretly rooting for, I think it is. I think it's Denver. And so we've got a lot to watch. Um, we've all heard a lot about Courtney Ford. Um, one of our star players. He's the one who scored that header in the minute and a half um, before final buzzer last game. But I also think um, 
Andrew um, Shinashaki, he's just been really putting out um, major plays, and he's got our highest goal point um, percentage, and he is just going to be somebody to watch. He's got the speed. He's got the leadership. Um, he's got that young blood that's just going out for it. So I think we've got a lot of good things coming up this next um, couple of days, and then I think we're going to really be fighting tooth and nail to bring this home. Well, I'll tell you, uh, making it, like I said, uh, I, the last, when DU uh, went to the Final Four the last several years in lacrosse, I went to see uh, Syracuse. They were winning, then they lost it at the end. Then I went the following year, went to Duke, came down to the last faceoff, told my kid if we don't win the faceoff, they're going to go down the score. Of course, they didn't get the faceoff. Duke won. And then the third year, I was like, you know what, I'm a jinx. I'm not going down there. I'm not going to go up because, I, you know, and then uh, they beat Ohio State in Mile High Stadium got into the uh, the final four and I said, oh, this is the year. They got too good of a team. Westberg, uh, the, all those guys. And uh, so bought my tickets, went up, went to the game, beat Notre Dame in overtime, and I knew that they were going to beat Maryland. So going into this, the soccer team, uh, very, very exciting. I mean, being undefeated, they just got everything going for them. The balls bounced their way. So we're going to keep our Fingers crossed that uh, that they can uh, bring it home and uh, put it into uh, put the trophy in the trophy case in uh, the athletic center. Um, how many people do you think for, uh, are going to be down there in the stadium? That are GU fans? Well, I know that our bank of 150 tickets sold out within 24 hours, um, and that's just in the lower bowl alone. So I know they've opened up more seats. I think we're really going to have a nice um, turnout, not just because there's a nice big alumni branch in Houston, but also because it's it's an easy airport to fly into. The stadium's not that far away, and so I think there's going to be a lot of people coming down to see this chance at a championship record that is pretty much unheard of. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of people down there, and there's going to be an alumni um, tailgate event down there as well. Um, go to denverpioneers.com to get all your information. We have the Soccer um, College Cup on there. Uh, updating that with everything, whether it be um, news from the guys, how they're doing down there. They're already in Houston. They're already be been practicing they're trying to get used to the new altitude get used to some of the humidity down there and sure we had to get them out before the snow but well, I, live in, I live in the south so i have a bunch of people that are clemson fans so i all let them have it when they lost last weekend and now i know a bunch of wake forest got you know uh deacons that are uh, local too so i'm hoping i can uh friday night i can you know send out some texts and say <laughs> sorry guys have a nice trip home to uh, you know winston-salem so uh yeah, that hopefully that won't be the case for us and we're going to stay there and uh sunday bring it home with that said, I'm going to let Kaylee get going. And uh, for all you pioneers out there, go Pios. And uh, we'll see you next time from the Peachtree Pile Land in Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks, Kaylee. Thank you. See you later. Bye.